Yo guys, what's up? Simo here, and today I'm gonna be showing you on how to get the Cosmic Helm. So let's make our way to Lore Master Hazel and uh, let's go. So before we start the quest, let me just show you on how the Cosmic Helm looks. Let's go to the Cosmic Raymond sets, and we have the Cosmic Countenance, and this is the normal version of the helm. I really like this. Uh, the helm is very unique, and uh, the details, it looks like it's been designed this past week. And we also have the Awakened Cosmic Countenance and this time it has an, an arrow like and uh, some gold details on the top. And uh, to get this you're going to be needing 4500 Cosmic Countenance threads which is the token for the helms. And uh, this is the normal one compared to the Awakened one. So let's go and get it. So once you guys accept the contemplating quest from Lore Master Hazel you want to first head on over to the shelf right here in the... Um, lodge and grab the book and after that we want to open our map and head on over to Darkovia and go on over to Darkhurst Town we're gonna make our way to Bug's Tavern once we're in Bug's Tavern we can already see the pages on the table and you want to get six of them and then we can move on to the next part once you guys get all the pages you want to head out the Bug's Tavern and we want to make our way to the Darkovia Forest so once we're here, you just want to head on over to the forest and uh, we're gonna head on over to the dungeon to the right onto Dim Grove because we want to head to the three bosses, which are the three spirits and there we can find the clue for the next quest. And once you guys grab that, you can go now go back to Lore Master Hazel and we can move on over to the next quest. So for the next quest, we're gonna be needing to find six nodes scattered around Lore. So let's go and do that. Alright, so the painful joke, we're gonna have to teleport on over to Green Guard and head on over to the Dreadful Labyrinth. And we're gonna head on over to the top right part of the labyrinth, so just follow where I go and eventually you'll get there. Just wanna take a left over here. And we can see Dreadful running onto someone over there. But yeah, we wanna turn on over to the right. And take a left over here. Once you get at the end of the labyrinth right here, you want to take a left right here and we can see the candle at the end of the room and you can get the painful joke right here. Next, for the realm of the night there, we're going to be opening our, our adventure book and we're going to be heading over to the world temple, onto the tree temple. And let's make our way here to the right to Slivgard and we want to head on over the void nightmare challenge and you guys want to enter it. So once you guys kill the Void Nightmare right here, we can find these mini temples right here and we're gonna be seeing the candle right here. So just claim it and uh, you have the um, Realm of the Night Terror one. Next we're gonna be getting the Beyond the Rock Wall. So for this, we actually have to head on over the lower fire fields and uh, we're gonna be needing an item because once you get to the lower fire fields, we're gonna be heading down here. And as you guys can see, it says here that we are required to get the crystal mining pickaxe, which I have uh, right here. So you're going to be needing to get this item first, and I'm going to be showing you real quick on how to get it. Uh, you just want to head on over to the magma mines. And once you get here, just follow where I go. Then head on over here to the right. We're going to be seeing this pathway and this mini little cave. So once you guys seize Mivel, you guys can actually get the crystal mining pickaxe in one of in his craft shops. You're going to be needing a wooden grip and a metal metal scrap that you guys can get from his quest. It's very easy to get, so you just need some wood from the lower fire fields and some metal scraps from the mine sentinels right here. So once you guys have that, just head on back to the lower fire fields and we can then open the cave right here. So you guys can see, you guys can enter the rock edge mine. Once you guys enter the rock edge mine, just ignore all the crystallized spiders because we're going to be heading on over to the end of the room. And uh, we can see in the distance the crystallized clog and behind them we can already see the candle. And once you guys get here, just make sure you dodge the boss and you guys can claim the next candle, which is the beyond the rock wall. So next we're going to be heading on over to the beastly um, archive. And for this one, we're gonna be heading on over to Darkovia, on to the Werewolf Colosseum. Once we're here on the throne room, you just wanna head on over here to the left. And let's now enter the Wolf Library. And we're gonna be going to the very end. I'm just gonna be skipping on onto the end, so see you guys there. 
So once you guys reach the end and beat the boss, you guys can finally get the candle right here and you finally get the beastly archive. Next, we're going to be needing the intern's stash. This one is fairly easy. You just want to open your map and go on over to Sansi and we're going to be heading on over to Bastion. Once we're here, we want to head on over to the left and we want to go to Nigel's office right here. Nigel Fuzzyborn, you guys know him very well and uh, we want to go behind Craig the intern and here we can see the barrel with the, the intern's stash. And for the last one we need atop a shielded tower. For this one we're gonna be heading on over to the dragon graveyard because we're gonna be doing the Skalazar ch challenge from Zakaru. So we'll just go on to the Sk Skalazar challenge. You don't actually don't need to kill the boss but uh, you just kill Skalazar twice and uh, you can see the candle right here. When you're done with that just get the candle and you're done with the quest. So now let's head on over back to Lore Master Hazel and turn in the quest. And we can finally finish the quest to get the token and we can accept the quest. So let's go on over to the pattern research and craft the pattern. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it on how to get the Cosmic Helm. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below if you have any questions and please subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!